Okay, welcome back. Now, in the previous video, we started insert, inserting uh, data into uh, parse uh, status. Uh, so we have objects sta uh, status objects here. So let's figure out how, how we're going to now display each status in a list like this with the username and the status at the bottom. So to accomplish this, uh, this place I'm clicking uh, is a row. So we are going to create a, a layout that we're going to use in our adapter to inflate this row. So this layout is going to be for each row. So the layout is going to be as complex as you want and we're going to be use XML. We're going to be using XML. So let's go ahead and create this and I'll show you how I added this uh, beautiful icon here. All right. Uh, okay, so I'll pull up Android Studio. And the first thing that uh, we have to do uh, is create a custom layout that we are going to use for each row. And I will just right click here in layout and then layout resource file. And I will call this uh, home page custom layout or something close to that. And I use a linear layout and I'll go to text view and the orientation is vertical which is good so I want to have um, I'll do it in text view I want to have a, a text view which is going to be the username text view text view and this is going to wrap the content as the width and the height is wrap content as well um, the ID is username I usually like saying HP uh, to refer to home page in the custom layout. So with this one, I have to do ID, then username HP, and then um, the text here is going to be username and that should do it yeah and then the next thing is uh, another th text view and this one is going to be comment I mean status status HP and this one is going to be with is wrap content I mean match parent onto fill the parent and then the high is wrap content and status HP. So having done that, uh, this is not username, this is the comment actually. So this is how it's going to be arranged like this. So the username appears at the top and the comment for each row. That's how we want it. We could add some extra stuff and it's gonna appear in each row. So that's how this layout is going to be used. So we have the username and the comment with an ID here. Now let's head back to our Java file and now let's create a custom adapter that we're going to uh, use this layout with to inflate the uh, list view that we have in our home page. So to do that, we're going to say um, new class, Java class, and we're going to call this um, home adapter or it's just status adapter status adapter and with this adapter now we're going to extend extends array adapter and it's a generic uh, type so we put in parse object and then Okay, 
the constructor, we need to have a constructor in here. And I'll do that shortly. So um, first of all, uh, I'll talk about adapters a little bit here. So there are two types of default adapters provided by Android. Uh, there's ar array adapters, uh, which uh, array uh, adapts array ad data arrays. And then we have the cursor adapter, which uh, is related to database data. So array adapters related to array data. So uh, in our case here, we'll be using uh, array adapter so that uh, we can handle an array of parse objects here. Um, so we will also be using uh, um, some queries um, to like sort, for example, query by if you want to query parse by um, um, date by you know date created at or by if the user is uh, Ronnie to display my comments, you know something like that. So. That's the, 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 uh, the ability that an adapter gives you. And that's why I like using array adapter because it kind of gives me more flexibility. At the same time, we'll also be using, in, in our adapter, we're using something called a view holder pattern. So this allow, allows us to avoid uh, using uh, the find by view ID method in our adapter. So a view holder class is just a static inner class in your adapter that um, holds reference uh, to the relevant views in your layout. So uh, in this case, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I have my, uh, for this adapter, I have a custom adapter that I always use all the time. And it's really simple to use if I'm creating, uh, uh, you know, simple uh, array of data. But this adapter works in pretty much everything, images and uh, uh, all that kind of uh, uh, data. But in, in our case, we just be handling uh, text. Um, so we'll just be using text views. So I'll just copy this adapter here and I'll start with the public section and I'll copy it all the way. And I'll head, this is from my Eclipse and I'll head back to my Android Studio and I'll just paste it here and change a few stuff. For example, now this is status adapter and it extends array adapter here. Uh, we need a protected context and we need a list of parse objects here we're going to say m statuses so we need uh, the statuses in a list that's why we have this so that's why the adapter does for us here we have a constructor and we're going to change this to status status adapter and then a list of status and here we have we call the super and then uh, the last parameter here should be the va the values, and this int this is the layout that we are going to use to inflate our home page adapter. So this layout here, the one we were creating, the home page custom layout, this one. So that is what we call here in our adapter. So it's home page custom layout. And then we call we say we now use getters and setters here. Uh, we set m context here to context, and m status here to this status. This one actually status. And then now we have a view holder pattern here. As you can see, the, the uh, view holder class that I was talking about is right here. It's a static class that is outside. So in our case, we only have two items. We only have, in our homepage custom layout, we only have two text views, which has a username HP and a status HP. So we'll just reduce this to two using two text views. And this is actually a text view as well. So. If this was an image view, then we'd use an image view, but this now a text view, so we'll just stick to text view. And this is going to be username HP, or you can say username homepage, something. And this is comment homepage, something like that. And now, since we have declared them here, we now come up here and we initialize the view holder. Uh, right. Okay. 
first of all we override this get view so this get view is what we are going this method is what we are going to be using to inflate each row of our app so the view holder pattern we say here if the convert view is null if the view is null if there's no items to be displayed then create the views else if the views are already there, have already been created previously, let's reuse the views by using this holder is equal to view holder that convert view and uh, calling the method get tag. So that reuses the views. So this is a very good pattern because we don't want to be calling, uh, uh, you know, uh, conver converting our views all the time. We call the, uh, the adapter. So it's kind of a good pattern. So here we say convert view is equal to inflate the layout and over here again where it's red we now change it back to home well, what we have here the custom layer that we created this one and then we now reduce all this to just two image views two text views so two holders so we say now we initialize the holder in here we say holder is equal to new view holder we create a new view now and then we say holder that that now this holder that is supposed to be holder that username home page so we kind of call that initialize it and then we say it's a text view so I'm just changing stuff here nothing complex and then here we instead of saying simply saying find view by ID we add convert view so this is very important always remember this we add convert view. if you just write find view by ID you will get an uh, you won't really work it will get an error like this so you have to write uh, you have to call the convert view or whatever you call this if you change it to V or yeah and then now here we find it we say username is username HP and then that this holder that we call it here we call it comment homepage uh, we come here holder that black and then we say it's a text view convert view dot find and then we find the view and its status HP. I think that somewhere I wrote, I wrote comment. But this is supposed to be status. You know, just for consistency to know what it is. Status homepage. And then now, once you've converted the view, and once you've created the view, we call convert view and then set the tag with the holder as the variable, as the parameter. So, uh, and then from there, we say, we call parse object here. Uh, from here we say parse object, and then we give it an, uh, a, a name, I'm gonna say status, status object, status object is equals to this status, m status, m status, that get position, of the view of the row that has been clicked so we get the position of that row and then now here is where we set the stuff that we need so we we'll get rid of some we don't need we don't have an image we have a username so i'll just get rid of all this other stuff and just leave two strings so this first string is now we say username is status object we now get the status object of the clicked item we say if it's this one is clicked we now get the object uh, and then we get the string the username now the string of the clicked object the string that we want is user the string user so we come in here and we just write user and then holder dot this holder now here holder that username homepage Holder that username homepage that set text. Now we set the text of the username homepage to what we got from parse we, from the user. Uh, uh, so we set this to username, and then another string here, which is now the comment, now the status, is the status object as well. Get string, and the string you're looking for is the new status right there from parse make sure you write this i always like putting this in um 
a static variable so that I don't I know it's constant but for this case for the sake of time we'll just kind of show you and then the rest is up to you to do so and then hold it that status on home page is set is that uh, dot set text we now get the set text from the home page here and we now set the text to status and then now we return the convert view very important now after doing this we're ready now to use our adapter in our home page and we're going to take a break and in the next video we're going to see how we're going to now use this adapter in our home page and start displaying uh, items on our new uh, app like this so we're going to see how we're going to display that in our app live update right here all right so see you then